Hello, this is Farah Ken Rao and welcome to the new episode of uh, Nuggets for the Soul. Uh, last November 1st, we celebrate All Saints Day. And uh, it's a reminder that all of us are called to be saints. Yes, despite our sinfulness, our weaknesses, our imperfections, all of us are called to be saints and the Lord is giving us all the graces that we need to become a saint. And the saints, we all could learn from them. Uh, just reading this from uh, Franciscan Media by Lucy Fuchs, uh, a PhD. And she wrote about the seven characteristics of the saints that we all could learn from. The first one is, all saints are filled with love of God. Uh, in her book, Saint Watching by Phyllis uh, McGinley, she writes that saints are human beings with an added dimension. They are obsessed by goodness and by God, as My Michelangelo was obsessed by line and form. As Shakespeare was bewitched by language, Beethoven by sound. And the Sorry. second uh, characteristic is that all saints love other human beings. In the first letter of John, chapter 4, verse 20, we read, If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love God, a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. Phyllis McGidley also says that although saints may be different in many ways, they are always generous. You will never find a stingy saint. Third characteristic, all saints are risk takers. When God called, they answered. For some, it was taking a chance on a new way of life in a new place. In the Old Testament, we have the example of Abraham called at an old age to leave his country and to go to the place God has selected for him. Abraham's story is a marvelous example of trust in God but even more so of a decision to plunge into the unknown. Like Abraham, saints responded to the grace that were given to them. The fourth characteristic, the saints are humble. Saints show their humility by using whatever gifts they had to perfection, but never attributing these gifts to themselves. Good examples are St. Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas were brilliant men and they did not go around saying how stupid they were. They did acknowledge, however, that all they knew was as nothing compared to the infinite wisdom of God. 5. Saints are people of prayer. Some, especially members of religious orders, had entire days of prayer. Others found their time with God in other ways. Dorothy Day, although she's not yet canonized, as a saint, but recognized as a truly holy person, started her day with prayer, but said that she met God daily in the crowds of the poor who came to her hospitality house. None of the saints saw prayer as a waste of time or as an activity for only the weak or naive. The six characteristics, the saints are not perfect. Each of the saints had human flaws and faults. They made mistakes. Even at the end of their lives, they still found themselves in need of contrition, pardon, and reconciliation. St. Jerome, it is said, had a fearful temper. St. Aloysius of Gonzaga apparently did not seem to know how to enjoy the things of this life. Some saints m misunderstood their own visions, like, for example, St. Francis, who was told to rebuild the church and he thought it was the physical church that he needs to rebuild. Seventh characteristic, the saints are people of their times. One wonders how anyone escapes being of his or her time. There were injustices around the saints that they did not speak out against. For example, St. Paul did not condemn slavery, but encouraged slaves to obey their masters. So if we look at the lives of all the saints, we can certainly find faults. Far from discouraging us, this can give us courage. Perfection is not what we are striving for unless it is as perfect as love as possible. You also could be a saint. God bless. The living saint, Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you.